Hey folks, Steve Bird here. Uh, thanks for watching my other videos. Thanks for watching our DIY solar video where I talked in detail from the panels to the batteries and everything involved for solar 12K or generator, uh, the complete system. Since that video, a lot of people that have watched have asked for more information on the battery maintenance required for the flooded lead acid batteries. I've got two banks behind me here. You can't see them. They're a little, little lower down out of the shot. You'll get those more in a minute. Um, so I wanted to talk about how these batteries are maintained specifically and what we do to water them. Well, first off, for a flooded lead acid battery, it's important that the batteries are equalized on a fairly regular basis. Uh, we have these set programmed through our Solark. It controls the equalization for three hours once every 30 days and we have them running up to 61.5 volts. It's a 48 volt bank of batteries. The two banks wired together are 48 volts. Um, so we overcharge them to 61 and a half volts for three hours and that essentially boils them on the inside. You can actually hear a lot of the, the sounds going on there. You walk in the room and you can, you can tell when they're equalizing without even looking at the solar arc. And, uh, so here's, here's a quick shot of that. I just happened to walk in earlier to get ready to film this video and they were in the middle of an equalization. I didn't realize it. So uh, check this out. Okay folks, we've, right here we've got an equalization in process. I'm going to be quiet and let you listen and you'll actually be able to hear the batteries kind of boiling inside. And as you can see here on the Solark, our battery voltage is currently like 61.2. And uh, that, it's you normal know, batteries are typically 48 volts. So we are definitely in the middle of an equalization process. There's a lot going on in there. So when this is all wrapped up, we will do a, a, a battery watering and uh, we'll show you how that goes. As you can see there, uh, you can definitely hear the batteries boiling on the inside. So when the solar arc, and it does this once the batteries are fully charged, so the batteries are brought all the way up to 100% and then it overcharges them with the 61.5 volts based on what we've got programmed. Uh, it boils them on the inside and this does two things. It helps to uh, fix a problem called stratification where a majority of the acid ends up in the bottom of the battery. Uh, this helps kind of reconstitute all that to go all throughout the fluid inside the batteries. There's the solar fan kicking on. It's hot in here today. And it also helps clean the uh, crystallization, the crystallized particles off of the, the lead plates. Um, so between those two things, it really keeps a flooded lead acid battery in good shape and good health to last a whole lot longer. Um, what we do to water our batteries, because they do off gas, because when they're boiling, a little bit of gas has come out, a little bit of water evaporates, and you end up low on water. So what we do, instead of having to go through every single one of these batteries has three caps on it and we've got 16 batteries. So instead of going through every single one and doing all three of those cells, the battery comes, each one of the cells comes with a cap uh, just like this and we replaced those with these valves. This is from a company called Battery Watering Technologies. We got these from uh, Scott Hunt and Practical Preppers LLC. Uh, he, he recommended these and I'm, I'm so glad we have them. I actually uninstalled this one from the bottom bank. So I'm gonna, here in just a moment, 
I'm going to service the top bank so you can see how that works because they're due for a watering. But I wanted to show you up close exactly how this works. So this connection here is what it looks like on the end. That connects to a hose that comes from a tank we've got mounted up high for gravity feed. And that tank is full of distilled water. Well these basically just click together and then water flows from the tank into the back of batteries through a series of these. You can tell it's flowing this little spinny wheel. I just replaced this one. That's why there's clamps. It's normally not clamps. The original that came on it developed a small leak, but I found one on Amazon. So anyway, each of the caps in the top of the battery is replaced with one of these valves. The valve has a float on the bottom that floats when it's full and closes off the water flow. So you can see right there how you get that white indication when the float is up and then it goes away when the float is down. So if you, you, you can just at a glance, you can walk past your batteries and you can look across the tops of them. You can see if you've got any, any low batteries that need to be watered. So like I said, I'll reinstall this and water the second bank in a moment. I just wanted to show you how the process worked. So, check it out. So as I showed you earlier in the little clip with the sound file, or the sound from the, uh, the batteries boiling, you can, you can clearly see here how, how these are plumbed. And it runs all the way back to the very end here and it meanders its way through these series of valves all the way to the far end of the battery bank. So when we connect this line from that tank, the water is going to flow and each one of those valves are, are going to float up when they're full and it's going to keep flowing until every single cell in this bank is full. It really doesn't get much easier than that. So all we got to do Push to connect, and now the water is flowing, and you can see the wheels turning, and if you look close you can see water flowing through the tubes, and we just leave that connected until the wheel stops turning, and all of the cells are full. Now we can watch water travel through the tubes, filling up valve by valve. So see these all the valves on this end, they're all to the top. It's working its way through and it's filling each one of them up and it's going to keep flowing until we get a full valve on the very last one which just has a plug on the end. And then all you got to do for my second bank of batteries, you can see there where I uninstalled the first valve so they can show it to you. I'm going to reinstall that now and then I'm just going to connect this hose to the bottom bank and service those as well. So again those are from Battery Watering Technologies, that's what that whole entire kit's from. Uh, you can contact Scott Hunt at Practical Preppers LLC. Uh, he's also Engineer775 on YouTube. A lot of you are probably already familiar with him. Uh, I will also put links in the description to the entire system, the tank, all the valves, everything comes. You get a tank and a complete set for everything that you need. It's kind of the order is custom tailored to you. So it's uh, I highly recommend it. It's about $200 per bank for all the valves and tubing and everything. But if I had to, as you can see, if I had to go through here and water each one of these individually, uh, it would probably wouldn't get done properly as often as it should and I would lose some battery life from it. So I highly recommend it. 
I highly recommend uh, checking out the things that are available when it comes to, to living off grid. Little things like this that help make your life easier. Uh, we've been off grid for more than a year now and uh, we wouldn't go back for nothing. And we're not feel like we're camping. With the Solark 12K and the panels that we have and the batteries that we have, um, we have all the electricity we could need. We feel just like we have grid power for the most part and uh, we wouldn't wouldn't change a thing. So thanks again for watching. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, sometime soon I'm going to do a video on checking the specific gravity of a flooded lead acid battery as another little part of the kind of the maintenance and keeping an eye on them. Um, so stay tuned for that and uh, thanks for watching. Hey folks, one little oh by the way. This is the a screenshot of the app that is associated with the Solark. Specifically, this is the battery chart or the voltage chart specifically. There's multiple charts available for the batteries. And this shows in both voltage and time the equalization taking place. This app does lots of things and you can go back and look at all kinds of things in the history and what's going on now and settings and all. So maybe one of these days I'll do a video specifically for this app. But for now I just wanted to show you how you could visually see that your equalization had in fact occurred. So anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon and I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.